Alrighty, here's a quick overview of my current little minivan build. So this video is mostly supposed to serve as kind of a progress keeper tracker, progress report. Um, there's still a lot I want to do to this van. And I'll explain at the end of the video why I'm using a minivan. So this is a 2003 Chrysler Town & Country. Um, I don't know a ton about cars, so I can't give you too many specifics on, on the engine and things like that. Um, but it is, I think it's a 3.8 liter. That's about all I could tell you. Probably V6, I don't know, frick. Um, got it in relatively good condition. Um, it has a lot of miles on it, but the car has been a champ. Um, it has no real issues at the moment from what I can see. Um, so let's take you and show you inside the van. This is the van mascot right here. So right now, I'm gonna actually turn my lights on. Ow, son of a mofo. So I decided to try to keep it super duper simple. Um, I really am not in position to spend a lot of money right now. So I was lucky enough to have somebody lend me their futon, um, which was super, super awesome of them. Hey. Well, I definitely know not to park here at night, <laughs> ever. I just had security come up and ask what I was doing, so they didn't seem to have any issue with it. So we're gonna keep showing this off. I thought I was recording, which is a shame. Um, but anyways, I got these little lights here. They're just powered off of this battery. I can just turn them on and off. I just strung them all across this here. <laughs> There's security again. Um, wow, this is gonna be fun to edit. I decided to leave one of my chairs in just so it can double as kind of like an office chair. I can sit there with my laptop and edit and etc. I use these cup holders or these little holder things. Um, wow, it's a lot darker in the van than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I got these cup holders. I just keep a lot of cords and stuff in here for now. It's kind of just a junk drawer, um, portable charger, stuff I've already had. I'm a filmmaker, so I keep a lot of stuff like that on hand. Um, I've got this little extension strip just for now, and I just run it out this window and this vent opens up and then I can plug an extension cord into whoever's house I'm staying at, if that is an option. Um, I keep most of my clothes just in this pouch for now and then the rest in a secondary backpack. Um, I keep my deodorant, my socks. I try to make sure I only, you could only see black clothes on top because I don't want to get tons of wild colors kind of throwing the van off. I feel like if you have too many colors going on at once, then the van starts looking trashy. This is where I keep my backpack with my extra clothes. It's kind of hard to see. I've got mostly pillows supporting the, this backrest part, um, but I do want to make it so I can put a lot of storage back here so it's not wasted space. I keep a laundry bag. I got one from Dollar Tree. Probably gonna buy a new one because it's tearing apart not really that great so right now I've got a down comforter on top of my futon um, and just some pillows to just kind of make it more roomy I just have it pinned with safety pins um, the futon's pretty ugly on its own so I definitely don't want to see it um, a friend is lending this to me at the moment but I actually am really digging the color I don't think the camera is doing it much justice right now um, throw some carpet down here. I mostly am using carpet just because that's kind of what I had laying around um, for my dad's house. He just had extra carpet, so I decided to borrow that. Kind of cut everything to shape. Um, it doesn't cover the whole car. The futon's covering the uh, undone parts, you, would, you could say. Keep my hammock down here in case I want to hang it up anywhere. One more cupboard, tons of junk, 
Like this is even more junk than the other junk drawer. Um, but yeah, I just keep a lot of miscellaneous stuff back there that I don't want, you know, trashing the van, making it look ugly. So yeah, that's the, uh, the living area. Let's uh, jump over to the back. Here's what I got going in the back for now. Um, I got my cooler where I can keep food and stuff like that temporarily. This honestly doesn't keep ice very cold for long. Um, and I'm pretty new, new to using coolers, so we'll see what I do with that. I do want to get a smaller one so I can just drag it right under here. And for kind of like the kitchen area surface, this is still kind of a work in progress, but I just found a pallet, cut it like half of it off. I sat it on this thing here. It's like this fold out shelf that comes with the van, um, which is pretty nifty. Um, so I just threw this pallet on here and then I got these trays from Dollar Tree. Luckily, they're actually decent looking. They're not super ugly. Um, and I just keep my silverware bowls and stuff like that in these. Um, got my toothpaste and toothbrush in here. In the future, I want it, it will probably be pretty nice to be able to pull out and grab what I need from the other side since there's holes. Um, so if I need to eat or cook inside the van, um, I still have options there. Um, I have this spare tile from my dad's house. Um, I'm just using that as a temporary cooking surface or whatever, um, if I need a flat surface. Um, I do want to get this whole thing covered up eventually or just completely replaced because it's just a really thrown together palette. Um, extra drawer full of junk, um, just miscellaneous stuff. I've got an extra laundry bag that will probably get torn apart really fast too. Um, I don't really recommend getting them. If you can get a nicer one, I would go for it and not get it from Dollar Tree. Um, for now, I like to keep my bag kind of under here. Um, sometimes I keep my bag closer to me or in my front seat if I'm in an area and I don't feel like somebody's gonna try to steal it. Extra storage right here. Um, I would like to get rid of these and just put them in temporary storage and like maybe make this more of a pantry area. I don't know. Still a lot of stuff to do. I've got a sink system I'm working on. I'm probably gonna swap out for a different, for like an actual stainless steel bowl. Um, I grabbed this cause it's only a buck and it already had a hole in it. Um, the one problem is it has ridges so it might not be a very great sink. The water might not drain out all the way. And then, yeah, so I plan on putting a sink there. And then I plan on putting just like a small gray water tank for the water to run straight down. I've got this piping and a couple L's um, to connect them. I'm not sure if it's really gonna work out. I might actually buy something different. I just had like a $3 budget when I put it together. Um, so yeah, gray water tanks should go there. So yeah, I might cut the bowl into either this side or this side. I've, I was wanting to do it to this side, but I might put the bowl on this side instead, just so I can access it from the inside of the van in case I want to brush my teeth and not be seen. Um, Cause I do want to do some stealth camping in here. So cool. Uh, let's show you the front of the car and this will be just a wrap for the progress video. So, in the front, really, there's nothing special. Um, I just got a cover that a friend lent me. Um, didn't have a reason to really get a cover, but I just did anyways. Um, I like to keep my change here. Um, pretty normal. It does have, whoa, that has the issues going in. But under here, it actually has these coin holders. Um, I might start using it more. It's kind of inconvenient because it's all the way down at the bottom and kind of hard to reach. 
Um, but it does let you sort your money. Shout out to Logan. Awesome movie. Still need to find a way to watch movies in my van. So I like to keep, for now, I'm actually just using this for trash. So I've got just like an H&M bag. Um, throw my trash in here, empty it out. So there you have it. That is my progress report for the van. Um, there's still a lot of work to do. Um, I could probably start living out of it pretty soon. I just need to get covers for the windows. I slept in it for the first time last night and <laughs> windows are kind of a must if you're in a public area. I actually have been sleeping in it for a while just in the comfort of the front of my friend's house. Uh, <laughs> but in public, that's, that's a whole new game. So yeah, uh, hopefully this is helpful for anybody else with a van similar to mine. Um, minivans are not a very popular choice. Um, I actually did not plan on converting this. Um, I just end up buying a van because I needed to, to transport a lot of people. Threw a futon in it for kicks and then I was like, oh, okay. I can probably just actually do the van thing in this. It actually works just fine. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do for a really long time, so why not go for it? So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this might go on YouTube. This will definitely go to the hashtag van life group page. <laughs> um, safe travels and uh, peace out.